You know that golden telescope we humans built uh, that's taking some mind-blowing pictures of space right now? The Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. About. Apparently we just discovered that there's a, a fifth layer of our planet deep inside. James Webb Telescope announced what's at the end of the observable universe. In a stunning announcement, NASA revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope might finally reveal to humans what lies at the end of the observable universe. When we do talk about the universe, it's quite hard for the human mind to fathom what it actually entails and what to expect with respect to knowing for certain about its origins, where it is, or even where it might be going. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope came with excitement from the scientific world as it began to show some of the most breathtaking images from the corners of the universe that we really didn't think much of before now. Some do believe that the telescope might finally be the thing that reveals the origins of the universe and help us learn what our place is in this enormous setting. It's quite impossible to fathom the sheer vastness of the universe at this moment, and we might never get to that. But for now, scientists and astronomers focus on what we can see which lies within the observable universe. To begin with, what exactly is the observable universe? This is a term used to describe the part of the universe that we can actually see, using the available technology. Its area is defined by the region of space from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory has it that our origins might have begun from an enormous explosion that spread matter all over the universe, setting it into long periods of unending expansion. Over the years, these matters have merged, which has caused the evolution of certain bodies, including what we know today as our planet. This has left researchers wondering if there's a chance that there's other life forms in the universe. We can't get a scale on the size of the universe just yet, and so we focus on these parts that are actually visible to us. The observable universe is estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter for the time being, as it's expected to continue expanding over the years. And as it expands, we get insights into what lies at the other end of the universe. Researchers and scientists have developed a few ways to enable us measure the size of the observable universe, and this includes the use of cosmic microwave background, and then the use of standard candles. The cosmic microwave background is a faint afterglow of the Big Bang that permeates the entire universe. Some of these have eluded humans for years as some are not visible to the human eyes and require infrared vision to be seen. By studying the CMB, we can measure the age of the universe and the rate at which it's expanding, which we don't actually know if it will be ending. We can then use this information to calculate the size of the observable universe. One other way to measure the size of the observable universe entails the use of standard candles. Standard candles are objects that have a known intrinsic brightness. By measuring the apparent brightness of a standard candle, we can calculate its distance. And by measuring the distances of so many standard candles, it's possible that we can get to create a map of the observable universe. As mentioned earlier, the observable universe is an unending expansion, and as it expands, more and more of the universe becomes visible to us. However, there is a limit to how far we can see. The light from objects beyond a certain distance will never reach us, because the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. This singular situation makes it incredibly difficult to study some of the features that are out there. And this is so because we get to see the universe as it was and not as it is. Several changes tend to take place over the years, that it takes some of the light to reach us. And this is if we are lucky to get them at all. Some lose energy and can only be seen with infrared vision. This is why most scientists are applauding the James Webb Telescope as one of the greatest inventions of our time. 
This is because its features allow us to see some of these infrared waves and gain insights into them. To this day, nobody knows for sure what's beyond the observable universe. Some scientists believe that it's possible that the universe is infinite in size, or that it's possible that it has a finite size, but is expanding so rapidly that we will never be able to see all of it. Some others believe that the universe loops back to itself. This means that if you start off from one point, you are likely to find yourself back at the starting point. For now, only time will tell what lies beyond the observable universe. The telescope's infrared vision has allowed it to peer beyond the most distant galaxies ever seen, to a time when the universe was just a fraction of its current age. The images released by NASA show a vast, empty void filled with faint galaxies. Because, as much as there's a number of bodies in the universe, most are still far apart from each other, which makes the universe largely empty. And to give an instance of how far we're from the most distant galaxy, in the images gathered by James Webb so far, it's so far away that it's taken light 13.4 billion years to reach us. That means we are seeing it as it was when the universe was just 800 million years old, which makes it a lot more difficult to learn current details on the state of the universe. The discovery of these distant galaxies is a major breakthrough in our understanding of the universe. It confirms that the universe is expanding at an ever-accelerating rate, and it provides new insights into the formation of galaxies. But the James Webb Space Telescope is just getting started. It's still in its commissioning phase, and its full capabilities are still being explored. In the months and years to come, the telescope is expected to make even more amazing discoveries. The universe is revolutionizing the way we study the universe and challenges some of the older understandings of galactic and intergalactic activities. For one, it's providing new insights into the formation of galaxies and has even revealed some galaxies that existed in the early ages of the universe. We have details on galaxies that are believed to have formed when the universe was only 600 million years old, and the universe is estimated to be about 13.8 billion years old. So things are pretty much bound to get a lot more interesting from this point. According to the current information gathered from the mind-blowing images from the James Webb Space Telescope, younger galaxies, which are millions of years away from us, look very much irregular. And most do not take the spiral shape that we're familiar with in closer galaxies. These older galaxies tend to be small and clumpy, often with a lot of dust around them that indicates star formation occurring in the massive knots. This is in contrast to older galaxies, which tend to be larger, more regular, and have more spiral arms. An example of a young galaxy seen by JWST is GNZ11, which is located billions of light years away from Earth. It's believed that this galaxy is so young that it's still forming its stars. It's also very small, only about one one hundredth the size of the Milky Way. But whether this information can be used as a working detail remains to be seen, as there are bound to be challenges that must have occurred in these galaxies over the periods that light took to travel. In May 2022, JWST discovered a supermassive black hole in the GNZ11 galaxy that's about 13.1 billion years old, which makes it the most distant and oldest supermassive black hole ever found. This particular black hole has something so spectacular about it, given that it's about a hundred million times the mass of the sun. One other instance of a young galaxy seen by JWST is MACS J0416.1-2403, which is estimated to be a whopping 9.7 billion light years away. This galaxy is more massive than GNZ11, and it has already formed a large number of stars. However, 
it still has the irregular shape that's common with most younger galaxies. The infrared camera in the JWST is the revolutionizing feature that is opening and will open more doors in the discovery of new occurrences within the universe. Infrared light can penetrate dust and gas, which blocks visible light from reaching us. But the cameras on JWST allows JWST to see galaxies that are obscured from view by dust and gas. The images of young galaxies taken by JWST are helping astronomers to learn more about how galaxies evolve over time. These images are also helping astronomers to test theories about the early universe and there is new insights provided even in formerly discovered bodies. In the coming months, we remain positive that we will have many more breakthroughs and learn a lot more about the world around us.